does this mean I'm forgiven for trying to message Diane? I can't let you starve to death. That's not God's intentions. I thought you'd still be mad. I was homesick. I grabbed the chance with Harry's phone and I'm sorry. You've been so good to me, I let you down. You did. On top of all the other stress. I'm on pins. Harry's body's still with the police. I pray they find not one single hair or whatnot of evidence. And he can have a funeral and I can relax a bit. Diana left to make all the arrangements on her own. I know. The guilt I'm going through with Diane hating your guts. Yeah. You're going through an operator. Why have you gone AWOL again? Um, at the farm. Why? Why? For a viewing. Oh, well. that's great. Yeah, love. I'll have to get off the line because he might be ready to make an offer. Yeah. <sighs> She's breathing down my neck about selling this place. Well, I can't do that while you're alive and kicking, can I? Just... Just invent buyers who pull out the last minute. Hey, that way it could go on for years. Do you know what, Tony? I think you might have just saved bacon for both of us. Mum, if this couple won't make an offer, don't accept anything until you've spoken to me, OK? Ring me back. Oh, I'm worried about my mum at the farm. It's on the market and I don't want her to get taken for a complete one. I mean, as if I haven't got enough stress with Joel and I can't get to the bottom of why that toilet stain, Liam Donovan, beat him up. And Joel still can't remember anything. Well, he's all over the place. I mean, he's having night sweats, talking in his sleep, keeps talking about habit. And when I ask him why, he says he don't know, but I don't believe him. For the soul. Right. Uh, I found some leftover Sunday roast in the back of the fridge, but I'm not sure from which Sunday. Why is my mum not getting back to me about an offer that she might have had with a pig farm? I mean, what about if she said yes to taking 50 grand less and throwing in some knitting stuff? I mean, that is my inheritance. Why won't she talk to me? And why won't you talk to me about Harry? Uh, right, well, look, if you can't find out anything about the house sale, just phone, phone the estate agents. Yeah, right. Eat your soup, love. <laughs> Hello, ha? Huh? Yes. Ah, oh, please, may I speak with uh, Mr. Jeremy? Hi, Jeremy. This is Goldie McQueen, Breeder McQueen's daughter. Yeah, this is in regards to Stone Mount Farm that you have on the market with yourself. Yes. I see. Well, thanks very much, Jeremy. Mmm, lovely, that. What did he say? Well, he spoke with her and he's not heard back since. That pig farm is not on the market. I mean, it's just lies on top of lies. There is something almighty dodgy going on with that woman and I will drag the truth out of her if it kills me. Not listening to any more of this. You got a last minute appointment. Big deal. I don't need to see this woman. Look, I'm not saying you're losing it or nothing. We're just worried about you, Mum. Look, I'm holding down a job, cleaning up after this lot. It is stress, nothing more. Oh, yeah? So why have you got a can of beef stew, olives, and a carrot in your bag then? That's a parsnip. And you'll do well to stop snooping through my things. We just want answers, Mum. I mean, you keep wandering off to that pig farm, staying overnight. It's weird. In fact, it's creepy. Oh, shall you creep it? All we want you to do is just see the psychiatrist, please. I'm not going, and that is the end of it. It's me again. Can you just let me know where you are or need to cancel this appointment? Mum? Rita. Right, for the record, I think this is ridiculous. But if it gets you all off my case, then I'll do it. Breeder McQueen. A doctor of psychiatry. <laughs> I 
course a bit rich, isn't it? Calling yourself a doctor. And doctors fix things, but you can't mend heads. Oh no, that's not possible. 30 years of practice would tell you otherwise. People don't change. Children do, you can still teach them. But adults know. The rot sets in and then it festers and then it goes from bad to worse to terrible. You seem to have a lot of resentment stored up. Wow, that's because I have seen a lot of things that would test my patience. Is that why you've been lashing out? Your family are worried. They found you sleeping in a pig pen? Nonsense. On the farm where you grew up? You're not digging into my past. Are you scared of what I might find? I'm not scared of anything, love. I'm just a humble woman trying to live a holy life. You have faith. Devout Catholic all my life. I believe we were put here for a reason. And what was your reason? You would not understand. You seem angry, Brida. I am angry. I'm angry with you. And why is that? Because I'm not the problem. You are. You are a woman of words. I am a woman of action. Tell me about this action. That is only for the Lord God, our Saviour, to understand. He is proud of the good work I do. He shines a light on my crusade. Why are you shouting? Because you're judging me. For being on a crusade? For carrying out God's work? It is! God's work. You don't seem sure about that. It is. They deserved it, sinners, all of them. And given the chance, I will punish them all again. Punish who, Breda? What have you done? If you talk to me, I can help you. I'm confused, that's all. I don't know who I am what I'm doing, and people keep asking me questions, questions, questions. And you don't have the answers. I can't tell anybody anything. They wouldn't understand. I don't understand half the time. And you find yourself making excuses, covering up your behaviour? No. No. I haven't done anything wrong. It's all them worrying for no reason. What am I even doing here? Do you know where you are? I am miles away from where I should be. He needs me today and I'm sat here, wasting my time with you. Who needs you, Brida? The poor little piggy. I need to go. I need to go now. Brida, wait! Words! Too many words! Promise is a cloud. Fulfillment is rain. There is a storm cloud on the horizon. A mighty downpour is coming, and I'm not gonna let you or anybody stand in my way. Well, you've been wandering off, getting confused. So you're gonna keep tabs on me everywhere I go? Mum is dementia. We're only trying to protect you. Right, I've had enough of this. There is nothing wrong with me. Maybe Goldie went a bit overboard with the GPS. Yeah, you think? It might not even be dementia. Uh, and, Brida, that is why you need to go back to the doctors and have those tests. The only thing being tested right now is my patience. Now you need to get out of my way, and I mean it. Nobody is stopping me going anywhere. Hey, I want a word with you. I've just had a phone call from Leela. Look, Mum, before you start, I was trying to do the right thing. You've just lost me the job that I love. But I never got you sacked. I just handed in your resignation thing. Without my permission. You cannot look after kids when you're in this state. Of course I can. I'm good old nanny breeder. Mum, you're all over the place. Look at the state of I am in the best shape of my life, guided by the love of God. The children of the world are safe in my hands. Mum, just listen to yourself. You had no right to do that. I love those kids so much. Those precious little cherubs are the one thing that's keeping me going. I'm not going to let you treat me this way. Oh, Mum, where are you going? I have got business to attend to, and I'm not going to let you stand in my way. Maybe I did overreact. 
just love that job. <sighs> think of the kids. You saw the way that she blew up. You definitely made the right call. Look, I think we need to lay off for a little bit. That GPS stuff is really upsetting, you know. And I was thinking, maybe I should talk to the dementia doctors at the hospital and look after my birth mum. Why is this box empty? Oh, don't go mad, all right? <sighs> you didn't. But I was worried, so I put the GPS thing on a car. Goldie! But I can just open up an app and see where she is. If we want her to come back to the hospital to take those tests, she needs to be on side. Snooping on her and tracking her every move. That's not the way forward. Delete that app. I've been too nice for too long. And where's it got me, eh? Stabbed in the back by my own family. When all I've ever done is try and protect them. How can they think I've lost my mind? So all you had to do was answer a few questions. Oh, I underestimated that woman. So I think you're making a big deal out of all of this. She was starting to get inside my head. And I cannot afford to let anybody do that. I think you need to calm down. You need to finish a lollipop before I lose my temper. Ooh. Mum, it's Goldie. Are you here? Uh, well, I know that you're here because it's on me WhatsApp. I mean, Silver told me to delete it and he's fuming, but yeah, whatever. Ew. Disgusting. I think they're starting to figure out who I am and what I do. And I can't have that, because then it'll be over. And my mission is incomplete. Bad dads are a plague. And the children of this world are counting on me to rid them from our myths. One answers right now. Goldie Love. Why was Harry Thompson's wallet in your bin? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Mum, Harry was murdered. I found his body in the woods. And why is this here? You need to tell me what you know right now. I don't know anything. Right, well, we need to tell the police. I mean, they need to search this place and forensicate this. It's evidence. No, 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 you can't. Mum, I have to. I'm calling him. No, no, wait. I think it was me. Why is Harry's wallet here? Was the year before he died? Look, I'm trying to remember. Okay, but it's all very muddled in my head. And this place makes it worse. Come on, let's go. Oi, as soon as we get back to ours, you need to tell me the truth. I need to know exactly what happened to Harry. But, Mum, come on. You said that you'd tell me when we got back. I've wanted so long to get this off my chest, to tell the truth. But I am terrified that you're gonna hate me. Put that down, Mum. You are scaring me. Did you do what you'd said? It, it's, it's all very fuzzy. It's, it's jumbled up in my brain. Just tell me yes or no. for a food bank and knits the little jumpers for needy kids is... is a murderer. I can't believe it myself. I've dedicated my life to doing God's work. I swore I'd do only good, that I would never hurt someone the way that he hurt me. Who? Harry? No. My father. I know he done terrible things to you, but so many people have bad childhoods and they don't grow up to be killers. Harry had his whole life ahead of him. He wasn't evil like your dad. 
And you've done that to him? Because I thought he was my father. What? Harry was different that day. He was on the run and it's all really, really fuzzy, but he seemed to be coming at me and, and it was him. It was my father, I swear. And I was a little girl again. And I could hear my father's voice. You stupid little coward. They're just pigs. And I'm holding my arms out to him and I'm begging him. Please, I don't want to go into the pig pen into the dark. I swore I'd be a good girl. But he just, he just kept coming at me. So I reached out for the nearest thing to fight him off and... He fell to the floor. And it wasn't my father anymore. It was poor Harry. I swear to you, Goldie. OK, so you, you're saying it was the dementia, that you don't know whether it's past or present? Yes, because if I was in my right mind, I never would have hurt that lovely lad, would I? But it's too late now. I'm a murderer. Thanks, love. I didn't think you'd even want to be in the same room as me, never mind make me a cuppa. Mum, I don't know what to think right now. I wouldn't blame you if you were disgusted by me. I've gone against everything I stand for. Everything that I taught you. Thou shalt not kill.